Daggerheart makes some big changes. Let's break down if they're good or bad. Well, we're waiting. Yesterday, Darrington Press released the 1.3 version of the Dagger Heart open beta, which comes with some major overhauls to certain systems and a lot of wholesale revisions to make the game a lot easier to run. It seems like almost every part of the game has been touched on, from the action system to advantage and disadvantage, to things like how gold works, not to mention all the domains got uh, little tweaks and balances and things like that. Now. At least some of these changes seem to address a variety of feedback that I've heard about the playtest that dates all the way back to last August when the first playtest came out in, at Gen Con. And honestly, that's both refreshing and a little surprising to see them roll out all these changes so quickly. Now, unless Spencer and Matt and the rest of the Darrington Press team literally got the first set of playtest feedback on day one and then locked themselves in a room for the next four weeks, I guess that some of these changes had to have been in the works when they released the 1.2 open beta in March, which was literally four weeks ago. But enough about how the sausage is made and more about the sausage itself. I like sausages! So what has changed in Daggerheart? Well, I got a chance to read it last night and you can actually see a pretty extensive list of uh, changes in the Daggerheart changelog, but the biggest mechanical change, at least for me, was to the advantage and disadvantage system. Players now roll a second hope die instead of a d6 and then pick which result they want when rolling with advantage and they always take the lower of the two rolls when rolling with disadvantage. Now the point of this is to make advantage much stronger. You're more likely to roll with hope under the new system and you have a better chance of rolling a crit which as a reminder you need to get uh, both the hope and fear dice to show the same result in order to get a crit in this game. Now, plus the help and ally action is a little bit more fun as the player making the help the ally action gets to roll their hope die instead of just adding a, another d6 to the uh, player that they're helping's pool. Now, the other big change is to the damage and stress systems. The most notable change here is that stress no longer has any ties to taking damage and the and Darrington Press's words, they've decoupled it entirely. So, if a damage roll falls under a player's minor damage threshold, they don't take stress any longer. So now, stress is functionally another uh, currency that can be used to activate various effects and abilities, and can also be used by monsters as a kind of side effect. Now, there are a couple other changes to the uh, bits of the damage system, uh, such as in armor. Armor values are lower across the board, but players have more slots to use it. And also there's a different consequence for when your stress is all used up. Now the rules also address some GM facing issues, which personally were among my biggest concerns from the initial playtest. The fear system is a lot more streamlined with GMs deciding whether to make a move when a player rolls with fear or take fear to use later. Now this means that the amount of fear generated will go down, but it also means that utilizing it is meant to be much more impactful than it was before. I'm a little bit curious to see how the adversary stat blocks, uh, much of which uh, many of those adversary stat blocks have abilities that are triggered by spending fear. Uh, I'm wondering if those are going to be a lot more impactful in combat. Uh, I took a brief look and it didn't seem like it, but I feel like that might be something that needs to be addressed. And honestly, I haven't gotten a chance to play through with the new playtest, so I guess we'll see you later. Uh, and speaking of those adversary stat blocks, they've also gotten an overhaul. Just in the playtest document themselves, they look a lot more intuitive to run, um, and there's a better mix of abilities, and things are a lot more clear in general. The Just to be honest, first draft of those, just a little bit of a mess, and I really like that they very quickly address that. Now, a plethora of other smaller things also got addressed as well. For instance, the currency system is now a base 10 system, which, you know, it still uses handfuls and bagfuls and whatnot, but now 10 handfuls equals a bagful and so on and so forth, instead of kind of the uh, unintuitive and not really based in common math system that they used before. I, I love calling things handful of golds and stuff like that, but I feel like tying it to a, a standard base 10 system just seems to be a lot more intuitive. And also there's now an optional in initiative tracker. 
So, you know, thus providing a protection from all the hypothetical asshole behaviors that people were uh, worried about when the Dagger Heart open beta came out. And of course, a ton of class features and domain features all received rebalances with little changes to either the uh, amount of damage that something does or what this ability does or stuff like that. Honestly, there was a ton of that and I'm not even gonna try to dive into that with this video. Now, as I said when I started this video, it's impressive to see such an overhaul of the game come out soon, especially since the playtest literally got publicly released a month ago. There's probably going to be a lot more balancing and tweaks that need to be made. This game uses several subsystems and all of those need to be balanced to make sure that they can't be super easily broken. So I kind of expected to see something like that with the domains and classes, but I was pretty surprised to see that there were some big mechanical changes made to the game very quickly. And I'm curious to see how many more of those we get in the next few months. It's, it's kind of fascinating to see. So what do you think about the Dagger Heart changes? Let us know in the comments and don't forget to hit those like and subscribe buttons.